So if you think that Hardman's really going after Nader Communications, then we need to get over there and warn them. It's not Nader, it's McKernan Motors. Can't be McKernan, they're too small. Not since we did that battery deal. And I know what you're gonna say, Avery McKernan's estate still owns too much of the stock, but not anymore. Who bought it? It doesn't matter who bought it. it matters who the attorney of record is. Let me guess, Daniel Harvey. Exactly. God damn it. Harvey, what are you doing? I'm going to see Dominic Barron. Well, then I'm going with you. No, you're not. I'm my oldest client, and this is something I have to do. Harvey, this is a client that you gave to me and Lewis. Yeah, and you were smart enough to figure out they were the target. Now I need you to use that brain to start figuring out how we're going to get out of this. What are you going to do? I'm going to look Dominic Barone in the eye and tell him I'm the reason this is happening. Harvey, what the hell? I just got notification of a tender offer. They're coming after my company. I know, that's why I'm here. So they sent the big guns to fight because it's a hostile takeover. I'm not here because it's a hostile takeover. I'm here because this whole thing is my fault. What do you mean, your fault? The reason you're in the crosshairs is because Daniel Hardman has a vendetta against me. You're telling me we just closed a deal that ensures this company's future and you put it in jeopardy because you pissed off your former partner? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. God damn it! Well, what do you want me to do, Dominic? I want you to stop being an asshole to people. It's too late for that. But it may not be too late for this. Drop us as your attorneys. What? As long as you're connected to us, it's gonna be a target on your back. You let us go, there's a chance it goes away. Harvey. If I was just gonna cut you loose because someone hates you, I wouldn't have hired you in the first place. Because we both know I used to hate you. Thanks, Tom. So what are we gonna do? I'll let you know. But I'll tell you this. They want a war? They got a war. How'd Dominic take it? He took it fine. Good, because I have a plan. Let's hear it. We go to the last place they'd ever expect and we offer to merge. Where? Fletcher engines. Are you crazy? We go to Fletcher, they're gonna kick Dominic out. Jack gains power, and might as well have let McKernan get bought out in the first place. And the only other option that's even remotely possible is we take them private. That actually might work. Come to think of it, why the hell didn't you just say that to me in the first place? Because I knew you'd shit on whatever my first idea was, and then you'd be open to the backup. You're telling me you set up a straw man idea to manipulate me into liking your real idea? Yep. How long have you been doing that? Peabody versus Danthorpe. Son of a bitch. All right, smart guy. Now, where are we going to get the money for the equity? I'll tell you where. Sidwell and Giannopoulos. Is that another straw man idea? Because you'll never get the two of them to go in on a deal together. They hate each other. Oh, those two hating each other is exactly what I'm counting on.